Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmaso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. The direct service line from you to me and my crew for purchase inquiries about this or any watch you see here on Watchbox Reviews. And today we're discussing the 2019 Patek Philippe Aquanaut. White gold and 42.2 millimeters continues the case size introduced in 2017 with the 20th anniversary Aquanaut, now featuring a military-inspired olive drab, this grenade-like watch, features an extravagant geosphere cut on its dial with matching composite rubber strap, giving it a dramatic utilitarian aspect rarely seen on Patek Philippe sports watches or watches of any kind. Now, the watch being 42.2 millimeters is larger than the standard 5167, but it's not thick. Only 8.3 millimeters thick as my calipers tell the tale and 50 millimeters lug to lug, so this watch wears nice and thin on any wrist, easily sliding beneath a dress cuff. The strap is extravagant, though it's not the first time we've seen a green strap or dial on an Aquanaut. It is the first time we've seen this combination on the white gold 42mm case. As you can see, it features that sharp, defining geosphere cut recurring across the strap and on the underside hollows to better vent the wrist on a hot day as well as to remove material and improve the flexibility of the strap. The strap has a conforming end profile, so it closes the gap to the case blank and gives you the same integrated coherence that you would get if the watch were on a bracelet. As you can see, the strap is designed to be cut to length, so there are many pre-scored marks on both sides of this brand new factory strap to allow you to size precisely. Now, the clasp is actually better than what you get on a Nautilus. Double deployant, as you can see, high polish Calatrava cross motif outboard, twin trigger release, and you can see once again on the inside, the cross motif repeated inside the chassis of the clasp. Uh, so all of this white gold, all of this of high polish and hand finished. I like the twin trigger setup better than the clamshell you get on the Nautilus Advantage Aquanaut. Now rolling to the case flank, you can see the Aquanaut has never been quite as complex in its construction as the Nautilus, but what's there is entirely hand finished, and what's there is gorgeous. As you can see, satin finished case flanks with polished highlights around the crown guards, crown, the bezel, as well as bezel flank. You can see the ends of the lugs themselves, as well as the lug tops are of high polish. The case band is satin finished for contrast, and the bezel takes its cues, being a sort of rounded off polygon gun inherited from the Nautilus. You can see the watch is very much of its own character as it doesn't feature the symmetrical wing design of the Nautilus, nor does it feature the complexity of the case construction of the Nautilus. It's a bit of a stripped down, no frills Patek sports watch. And by many definitions, it's a pure sports watch for that simplicity. Of course, white gold satin finish on the top, the bezel flanks a dial featuring white gold hands, white gold applique indices, and white gold applique Arabic numerals. Beautifully loomed, you can see there is a white varnished counterweighted lancet style seconds hand, and then there is a contrasting white date disc with black printing and a quick set for that date disc. The watch does not feature a hacking seconds function, but those of us who know the Patek 324SC quite well realize that there is a way you can utilize back pressure to cleverly stall the seconds hand for as long as you wish and effectively hack or set it against a reference time. And of course, the watch features the quick set for the date itself. Screw down crown. The watch is highly water resistant at 120 meters water resistant. Turn it all over. You can see we're trying to get as close as we can here. Patek Fleet manufacturer caliber 324 SC. Automatic winding, 35 to 45 hour power reserve, 29 joules adjusted in six positions, which is one more than the standard chronometer five. It features Patek Fleet Gyromax balance, free sprung and adjusted in those six positions, so it's both more shock resistant and able to take a more precise regulation than a mobile stud index. With a silicon hairspring, it also features a high degree of anti-magnetism. Patek uses a efficient unidirectional winding system, which is more efficient than bidirectional, and it combines that with unlubricated low friction ceramic rotor bearings that never need to be maintained, replaced, or lubricated in any way. Hand finished, it's nicely executed, though it's not quite as hand finished as say something like a T27 Tourbillon. Nevertheless, you do have handsome chamfers. Excellent Cote de Genève. Engine turning in micro and macro depending on whether you're at the center of the rotor or the base plate. There are hand finished black polished screw heads. All of the screws with black polished heads also feature chamfered slots as well as chamfered circumference. You can see there's even engine turning on the little ratchet reduction wheel underneath the rotor. With circular Cote de Genève on the rotor and linear Cote de Genève across the bridges, it is a handsomely executed 
traditional Geneva automatic caliber. Nicely done and impressively specced. You can see that the watch has a broad stance on the wrist. I'll give you a quick look at how the watch appears on a 16 centimeter circumference wrist. It's flat more than anything and broad, so it lays flush and easily slides underneath any cuff. You can see, and you can own this Patek Philippe Aquanaut 5168010 2019 spec on the watch box.